What's going on YouTube? It's your buddy Will from the What's Up in the Sky 37 channel. We're online at www.whatsupinthesky.com. And I'm sure if you're a watcher of mine and watch my videos, you've probably have seen this already. If not, this is a pretty neat picture. This is dubbed the Hand of God by NASA. This was taken of it says Pulsar. It's from uh, taken from one of our pretty cool telescopes here. Let me pull it on over to New Star. I'm going to link this up for you guys. High energy X-ray view of hand of God. Can you see the shape of a hand in this new X-ray image? This is actually X-ray. This is pretty interesting how this takes it. The hand might look like an X-ray from the doctor's office, but it's actually a cloud of material ejected from the stars that exploded. Well, it was a star that exploded, not stars. NASA's Nuclear Spectroscopic Telescope Array, or New Star, has imaged this structure in high energy X-rays for the first time, shown in blue. Lower energy X-ray light previously detected by NASA's Chandra X-ray Observatory is shown in green and red. So this is basically a, uh, it's a mixture of a couple different pictures that they have um, to make it. So nicknamed the Hand of God, this object is called Pulsar Wind Nebula. It's powered by leftover dense core of the star that blew up in a supernova explosion. The stellar corpse called, and I'm not even going to read these, for short, is Pulsar, is a Pulsar. It rapidly spins around seven times per second, firing out a particle wind into the material around it. Material that was ejected in the star's explosion. These particles are interacting with the magnetic fields around the material, causing it to glow with x-rays. The result is a cloud that in previous images looked like an open hand. The pulsar itself can be seen in this picture, but is located near the bright white spot. So I guess this was, he said, you could see in the previous picture is what looks like that open hand there. But pretty neat. Like I said, if you haven't seen that yet, The Hand of God, pretty cool. I'm going to link that up there. And uh, I thought this was interesting, too. Not much coming out from the um, from the, the the Jade Rabbit here. Here we go. I thought I had it up already. Here we go. <laughs> but they are putting out stamps and all sorts of good coins and stuff like that. But I'll tell you why we're not getting much, apparently. I, I thought that, you know, we were getting kind of, you know, China hadn't put out much since its landing. Um, they haven't put out any of really high resolution pictures. The stuff that we have gotten has been uh, press released, so we're not sure, you know, if they've added stuff to the pictures or not. Um, but China's Postal Service, the end largest bank, are marking the country's first moon landing by launching new stamps and medallions featured in the Chan. The now, a whole bunch of people told me how to say this different ways on my thing, so I'm just going to say the Cheng three. Pro. A lot of people just say say Chang without the E there at the end. So but I also heard it called Chan, Chan, you know, so I'm not sure. The China Post on Wednesday released its second set of postage stamps commemorating the Chang, <laughs> now I don't even want to say it, which touched down in the lunar surface December 14th. So here's the reason why it's not out doing anything right now. Um, both of this is here. The rover and lander are now sleeping through the lunar night, a period lasting about two weeks that begun on December 26th. Dormant due to the plummeting temperatures and the solar power craft are outfitted with nuclear radio telescope heaters units to keep it warm. So the nuclear, that's not like the, uh, the Curiosity rover is nuclear driven and everything is, it doesn't need any sun, solar, I mean the sun could just totally disappear and it would still work. Um, but not this one, not the U2, not Jade Rabbit. It needs, you know, it needs the sun in order to act. So that's why we haven't seen probably anything come back from Christmas. Hopefully they'll be starting to put some new stuff out here shortly when it wakes up after, uh, you know, lunar night, wherever they're landing. Uh, these are pretty, some pretty neat stamps. Like I said, I don't know how to get anything from China over here in the United States, but I'd love to have one of those coins and a couple of those just to have, you know, for all prosperity. But anyway, guys, what's up in the sky? 37. Uh, I got a couple more anomaly videos. I got a moon one coming up for you. It's pretty interesting. It's it's gonna be this one right here. We need. There's a uh, pretty obvious structure on it. And then when you, oh, I'll tell you what. When you lighten up some of the dark areas of that photograph right there, it gets crazy. So stick around as always. I got much more Mars stuff coming out. I've probably got about 15 emails from you guys that are just deserve videos right now. So keep sending me your stuff. I promise. I promise I will get to it. So um, you know, so I work full time job, so I do all this in my spare time at night, and um, you know, sometimes on the weekends. You know, I got a life, got a girlfriend. So we'll try to do as much as I possibly can, but like I said, just send it on over, and I, the stack of stuff is getting there, and believe me, if I don't get to it right away, I'll send you an email when I get to your picture, believe me, because it's going to, like I said, there's so much here to share with people, and I want to share it all. So much love, guys. Will at willfarrar.net. If you got to send me something, you can find me on Facebook, willfarrar, whatsupinthesky.com. Peace.